Hey, today I want to talk to you about the only thing you or I can control in our lives. The only thing, there's only one thing. And I'd like to share an illustration before I actually give you the answer. So my family uh, loves Disney. And for roughly 20 years, we would take the trek from New Jersey down to Orlando, Florida uh, to spend time in the sunshine and go to Disney. I was blessed to have owned a newspaper at the time, so I would get free passes for the family, which, as you know, if you've gone to Disney, it's quite expensive. But uh, there was one particular time that I'll never forget. It was a sweltering August morning. And we went down there, and, and the first thing that you experience with Disney is parking. So they usually have all these different people that are you know, directing you and directing the traffic so that you get the, the perfect position and everything is fluid and then you, you jump on a tram and you head to Disney World. Well, this particular day was, like I said, really, really hot. And as we're pulling in, there was a, a man, I, I'm guessing about 35, maybe 40 years old, and this guy was dancing around, a, a parking attendant now, he's dancing around the sweltering heat, long sleeves, uh, a safari cap on, and, and he is just having so much fun directing people in. And, 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 and you're watching everybody else with the sweat pouring down them, and this guy is just twirling around and directing people, big smile on his face. We park, we go into the park. It left an impression on me. You know, that guy's probably making a little bit above minimum wage. And it is hot. And you put those two factors together and you generally get somebody who is not gonna give their best. But this guy, this guy, he was giving it his all. And you know why? Why I believe he was like that? Because he understood the one thing that he could control, and that is his attitude. His attitude towards any situation. And his attitude on this particular day must have been one that, you know what, I know it's hot, I may not be making a lot of money, but I'm blessed to have a job and I'm blessed to be out here with all these people and I'm going to not only make it good for them, I'm going to make it good for me. And that's exactly what he did. His attitude spoke volumes. I'm wondering in, in our day-to-day -day lives, uh, how are we being received? How are we reacting to different situations? Remember, the way you react to a situation will usually determine the outcome of that situation, good or bad. The bottom line is this. We need to have a constant heart of gratitude. 1 Corinthians 10.31 says, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. If we simply took that truth and, and, and put it on our lives, what a difference. What a difference would be for us and for those around us. I'm Joe Pellegrino, and this has been a Legacy Minute.